Hello again and welcome to part two of the Record Power Sabre 350 bandsaw unboxing and assembling. You can see my box of casters arrived. Coldeen casters they are, and ordered through Amazon. Um, recommended by Peter Parfit of the New Brit Workshop channel. This is what I'll be using for the trolley to make for the bandsaw. So uh, I'll get, be getting on with that now.
finally got the caster carriage completed for the base unit to sit on and you can see it just there. Caster's all fitted and it's all ready to be used so I'll get the base onto that and the bandsaw onto the base and uh, can finally start assembling everything. And here I've uh, mounted the bandsaw onto its base and onto the caster trolley. So we're all set now for the next stage, which is the assembly of it. And you can see it's now in the position it's going to live in as well. But at least I can move it when I need to. Right, that must be close. Uh, We'll look underneath and yeah that actually was in exactly the right place uh, excuse the dirty hands but uh, you can see there if it will uh, it's focused we've got the washers four of those the hex head bolts there and also four little spring washers there so that's what will secure the table Okay, that's one in. Well, at least that'll hold it there now. Quite tricky doing that on your own with the position of the trunnion is on this side of the table. So of course, to for it to, to stay on, it won't sit on there balanced. Um, so two people would make it easier, but I've I've done it. So I've just got to secure the other three bolts now. just about to install the uh, bolt which prevents the uh, keeps the table exactly at 90 degrees um, when it uh, if you've used it at an angle like it is now and then you return it to level to save having to mess around every single time there's a, a stop bolt which can be adjusted to make sure that that point it returns to is exactly right every time uh, so I'll just show you that now. There's the little uh, swiveling okay. so that would that is the stop there. Uh, if you don't want it to be stopped, in other words if you want the table tilted the other way, that will swivel out of the way just like that. Um, if you do want it stopped then it sits like that and I don't know if you can see it's very dark there but just under the table there 
that's the where I shall put this bolt in so Okay, so there's a nut on there. Just there. That nut can be turned once the table's back in the nearly level position. That will be turned to adjust to uh, determine how far in or out I can screw this bolt, and that will determine the level of the table. I shall try and do that now. That was just a guess, um, but that is actually, well, I think that's as close as I can get it. I thought you might be interested to know that uh, I just thought I'd check the factory setting of zero on the angle gauge here. And uh, let's see if, I don't know if you can, See that? Let's just. Uh, there we go. Yeah, you can see it's almost exactly on zero as well. Um, so that may be coincident, and it may be that Record Power actually do set these up um, as part of the quality control. It might even be the factory set it up. But in any case, that seems to be spot on accurate. Okay, it's time to install the rip fed rail on the side now. Um, the nuts and washers that are needed to fix it are actually there. So on mine anyway, they came already attached to the rail, so they just need removing first before I fix it. So it's just one nut. And one washer to remove from each, the other nut and washer stays on. And it's this that would give some adjustment if needed, make it parallel to the table. For now I'll just tighten these right up on each one. And So I'm just going to make sure that the rail is parallel to the table, uh, both in distance at this end and that end, and also that the, the height of it is parallel to the uh, top of the table. That's the uh, rip fence mount now, which is this item here.
uh, just to make sure it's the rip fence is mounted on that but also over this extrusion here more or less level with the back of that I would think I should just point out um, I've fitted the fence as you can see there in the what you might call the normal position um, but the one problem with that position is if you need to lower the guides there down for thin material then that fence is too high so it's also possible to take that fence off from that position and lie it flat on the side now facing towards us and then this little piece there will become the new fence for very thin material one more thing to mention as well is the fence support assembly here can be altered slightly um, you can just see on the left of it there there's another extruding point to match the one on the right and this is so that the rip fence can actually be mounted on the left hand side of this mount so it's what makes it possible to have the fence all the way to the right of the table on the right hand side of the work which might be needed occasionally so just to mention that that can be done as well the rip fence on this saw has a handy little feature um, I don't know which other band saws have something similar um, anyway I thought I'd just show this to you quickly uh, just that's the normal fence locking knob there this one here has a little cam underneath there which just acts on the back of the fence there to push it into alignment uh, as much as required so at the moment you can see hopefully that it's fairly well out of parallel alignment with the blade um, obviously I need to measure it properly uh, which I'll do shortly but just to give you an idea of how this works if I make sure that's undone that would be what tightens it into position then turn that and you watch the fence you'll see see it move like that that's the cam doing that so whatever position that is parallel with the blade I can then just tighten that locking nut there and uh, it will stay in that position so I thought that was quite a good idea there next step is to install the blade tensioning knob on the top here uh, just fill that there and that should yeah that just sits there and the guide post cap which just sits over the top here when the guide is raised Okay, the guide post hand wheel and there's a small flattened area on there just on the top and there's a small set of screw in there for an allen key and that will just need to go over that flattened area so like that oh. let's try that again and And the lower one here is to do with the drive belt tension, apparently. So, uh, uh, sure, that's the same as the top one. The uh, push stick holder that sits on the back of the bandsaw, so I will have to try and show you that uh, while putting that on so just up there I think you can see the all of the hex head screw and that will go into so let's just try And 
and not just just over it like that. Uh, see, that's the push stick. There's also a small holder for the Allen keys, hex keys that came with the bandsaw. It's just a plastic, small plastic holder, nothing special, but it's a handy place to keep them stored. So let's see, that should on there. Oh, there we go, that's in. That's one in anyway. And the four Allen keys. Like so. And one more thing that came with the bandsaw, uh, which I won't be using straight away, but uh, needs mentioning, is this resaw bar. Uh, that sits against the fence. Um, I do that. Both of those spaces there need to be removed. And then go on like so. And then the spaces go in the other side and the tightening handle. And that's just for um, resawing certain lengths of timber. Uh, it would enable you to actually keep a straighter saw uh, than if you just used the rip fence. So that's everything now set up and assembled on the bandsaw. The blade is also in place, uh, but I will need to just check the alignment and tension of that before making a first cut. Um, so that's the end of this part two of the unboxing and assembling. The next video will be the first trial test run of this new bandsaw. So uh, hope you, once again you found this useful and somewhat interesting and uh, please watch out for part three or part one of the new bandsaw actual using uh, actually coming soon.